Hello and welcome to this pre-budget special, the budget of hope, brought to you by ICICIDirect.com. I'm Siddharth Zarabi and with me today, Anand Kumar Bajaj, the founder and managing director, as well as the CEO of Pay Nearby, the largest branchless banking network in the country. Welcome, um, Anand, to this short conversation. Uh, hopefully, we'll get you to uh, speak about your expectations. But I'm going to start uh, today with a larger uh, question, which is financial inclusion. And we have seen uh, fintech occupy center space in terms of the lives of Indians, even during what was the strictest lockdown, perhaps across the world. And uh, that has helped not only save lives, I would say it has taken further the objectives of inclusion. Uh, tell our viewers what your company is really doing as far as financial inclusion is concerned uh, in tandem with the larger policy objectives that have been laid out by the government. Thank you, Siddharth. And you uh, perfectly said it. It starts lives. And during the lockdown, when everything was shut down, uh, it was important to put that important money in the hands of millions of citizens in the country. The endeavor at Pay Nearby is to bring the high end of technology to the bottom of the pyramid. The policy objectives are clear, the intents are aligned, the infrastructure and railroads all are there. All it takes is to assimilate, assemble all these programs together and help achieve the last mile objective. The fact that there are 6 lakh villages in the country and about just 1 lakh 5000 bank branches does not add up to the math. So bank help or banking nahi. If I say it will not be out of place that people have yeah. bank accounts but not access to it easily and which is where Pay Nearby through its program Ardukan Digital Pradhan has reached out to half a million Kirana stores in 17,000 postal codes serving 50 billion INR of statutized financial services each month. The core is that 150 million citizens come to our network at a Kirana store and are able to say, Bhaiya, 2 kilo alu, 1 kilo piaj, or 200 rupees cash dena. That is where we have blended the banking into the grocery interaction uh, at a common man's uh, in, in his life. And uh, with, regard to, yeah, with regard to when you say that the uh, alignment with the policy, the NPCI platform infrastructure is awesome. And we got all our technologies certified on the application service provider platform ASP of the NPCI. And uh, it has been a fabulous uh, journey then because my customers do not tweet. My customers do not complain. They talk to the Lord Almighty directly. So it is all the more important for us to ensure that that 700 rupee that he remits or receives is not lost in transit. Thank that's a very, that. very, that's a, that's a very, very important a point you make and I am particularly very impressed with the, some of the um, slogans that you have. They are not slogans actually, they are business objectives which have been captured in uh, easy to understand um, caption language and I wish you all the best there. I have two quick follow-ups um, uh, from you. Uh, one, you spoke about NPCI and um, uh, uh, that and I believe not enough attention has been paid to uh, the significant progress that has been made and the amount of financial innovation that has been happening in the country for the past few years. I think it's a great achievement and all uh, best wishes to entrepreneurs like you. What can the budget, and this is the next point on which I want your response, what can the budget do to support companies like you and in fact the entire ecosystem? Absolutely, Siddharth. See, we have built an infrastructure a branchless infrastructure harnessing the economy's uh, available assets, which is Kirana stores, uh, a pharmacy store. And this infrastructure uh, uh, is well deserving if we say that should be granted the infrastructure um, uh, tag and the tax benefits that go belong to uh, manufacturing or to large ports. Uh, banking is equally an important infrastructure that we have built. So what if the government would look at it uh, in a positive light and uh, facilitate those tax breaks, tax benefits for reaching out the mass uh, financial services. And when I say financial services, it is entire insurance sector, lending sector or payments, digital payments or investments. So it's a railroad that has been built through a trusted retail partner where we nothing but dispense statue of trust. 
imagine what the infrastructure this is where you don't need 5 lakh more additional bank branches to cater to the 100 uh, crore citizens so if tax benefits are granted that is one second is a clarity is imperative in regulations the writing is on the wall and of course on the papers uh, uh, but if it is uh, written with clear examples it leaves no opportunity for people to interpret uh, in a unwarranted manner and i will say that niti hai par aayojan nahi in the line in the in tandem because the government has written policy but the people who interpret it they do it to their own delight without realizing that it impedes the financial well being of the nation so there are regulations which are written on gst waiver for the financial inclusion tds waiver 194 n proviso 3 is specifically for financial inclusion sector but the way the people read on the ground last mile is not at all encouraging so when the regulations are written this time be it let there be a example to tell them what it actually means so that there is no shakespearean english required to interpret government's policy objectives i think i think you have very uh, nicely explained niti hai par aayojan nahi and i i hope that people in government um, uh, listen to this very particular point i have two other follow ups uh, on this and the the point that i want to ask you is the last uh, part of your response one of the things that uh, it seems to me is perhaps a stumbling block and i could be incorrect on this you are a pr- practitioner is the lack of english language literacy or even literacy in our own indian languages a lot of the technology interface requires some bare amount of alpha numeric literacy bare amount i am not saying it needs you to be a phd is that an issue really when it comes to financial inclusion making your products like you gave that 700 rupees example now that obviously is catering to someone who may not have very high levels of uh, financial literacy or even general literacy anand absolutely bang on siddharth i would say telcos uh, should be given some commendable award in the nation for making india number literate if not financial literate or if not uh, alphabet literate everyone knows what is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 0 people have dialed out numbers and received calls they have uh, understood what numbers are and if you see for financial services nothing but numbers are required i would also go forward to say that the vernacular languages helps a lot in making people realize that this is their dialect this is their language this is their platform so pay nearby has offered our services in multiple languages across the country along with videos which are in multiple languages so beyond that uh, people are intelligent if you are able to handhold them assist them they are able to cross that bridge the bharat bridging to india is here it's written it shall be accomplished and i think these small little touch ups which we are doing will will build the bridges uh, to the two sides of the river okay uh, uh, building bridges uh, to to those who are uh, are uh, less fortunate really in economic terms but have deep aspirations is is a very laudable objective my final point um, anand uh, is that we spoke about uh, budget and the hopes even beyond the budget the prime minister uh, recently said that uh, it's not just the budget you should look at even many more things that will be done he used the word shrankla uh, in terms of a series of steps therefore uh, taking off from your initial responses will i be correct in summing up that one of the big things that you are really saying is 15 years ago our policy 20 years ago gave infrastructure status to various industries at that point of time bridge building road building even the it sector they got lots of breaks because it that was the policy objective 20 years back today in the 21st century uh, the policy objective is to treat the financial technology financial services sector all the three four examples you gave as the new railroad or bridge of 20 years ago and give it all the tax breaks and policy support that that was given 20 years back absolutely siddharth that's a fair submission fair submission and yes i if if that's a comment i accept it if it's a query uh, i would reiterate that uh, government shall uh, should uh, in the shrankhala of uh, other initiatives take upon this particular module as well and uh, declare if nothing else uh, the financial inclusion drive by many of us as as uh, industry and uh, infrastructure industry at that 
uh, that would be very very helpful all right uh, anand kumar bajaj we are going to leave it at that you have uh, explained the needs of this sector and one would join everybody in wishing you and your sector all the very best because you serve a very very important uh, need and i hope that policy makers are able to deliver uh, on that in this budget and even beyond that with that it's a wrap on this interesting conversation we'll be back with much more till then goodbye